No, not there, Figaria. What are you doing? <laughs> Already, straight away. It doesn't matter, but one should be on the left, one should be up here, one should be here, one should be here. I explained this before we started and you've all built like Muppets. You've even just watched it being done. Man, I okay, thank you there for the sub. <sighs> Alright, well if we leak then I know who to blame. Boys will be boys, will be boys, will be boys. Figari is stealing all of my kills now. That's why you're building there, is it, Figari? trying to do a rotation so they hit one after the other yeah I'm getting screwed by Figaria he did this deliberately he knows I don't like being last on the leaderboard no he's trying to buy I'm going to give you your money back he's trying to buy his way out of it It doesn't work like that, Sonny. You can't buy my my love with your guilt. <laughs> uh, maybe I need more rotation here. As long as we all get a decent spread, we'll have a better chance. Can't I just take the top one then? I, I said I was going on the left hand side before we started the game. Like, I implemented the instructions very clearly at the start. And immediately there's rebellions. And thiefery. My instructions were not clear. Yeah, sorry. Apparently I need to speak in layman's terms. I forgot I'm dealing with a bunch of filthy casuals. As long as I'm quicker upgrading though than these filthy casuals, I can make a bit of a comeback. I'll have to start getting upgrades soon. I think if I get like 10 towers, it's worth it. That's nice. I'm gonna rise my way up. Tainted's got the most kills of them all, somehow. It means uh, Clucky's failing. Clucky, you were in the last game. How can you fail? You've already had some experience. That them dare clucky. Lots and lots of damage upgrades seem to be really effective with enough speed as well. Spread it because the cost goes up each time you upgrade. But I think both upgrades are good. Damage is definitely better than speed though. But speed is important to get it to a point 
that you are reliably hitting, at the very least. And we're almost there already. Working my way up that scoreboard. Isn't the meat wagon the most unbalanced siege? Uh, nah, it's all a matter of perspective. But see, meat wagons are actually very underrated. They do have incredibly good damage, but I don't know how they work in this custom game. People seem to favor the mortar teams. I need more damage. I'm missing out on a lot of kills here. If it wasn't for that damn Vagaria. Stealing all my stuff. Put my knee in a very uncomfortable position. Let's try to bring it back, shall we? So, everything's good so far, but you'll find a point where you start leaking lives, and I'm not even sure there's a way to stop it other than having everyone get a good, even amount of kills. It's not too bad. It seems more even than when we play this as a random group. AKA Pug. I can stop my towers in a second. So, stop, 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 stop. Go. So we're all synced up. You might be better just focusing on one type of tower, though. They will desync, you think. Not before I beat Figari on the scoreboard for stealing all of my stuff. Tricky, tricky Figaria. He will learn his place. And then I will ban him. Just gotta catch up with Ember and Kitson. What happened to Tainted score? What did you start doing, Tainted? You're not upgrading your damage. Lucky needs a comeback. 55 gold for the next damage upgrade. We've got five or four points into speed. Oh man, so many of them getting away on like one health. Cheeky. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Get a bit of gold back. I figured I may as well, you know, they're gonna try to get away in the whole one health. I'm not having that shenanigans. That's a whole bunch of six golds I'm getting now. I've overtaken Figaria. You get a lot of gold at this stage. So you can keep increasing your damage. I'll get like ten upgrades and then I'll start upgrading my units individually. We need sh everyone to be strong, though. Really. Because they're spawning equally from all areas, so you can't really afford to have one weak link. It says four damage there, but I've done like ten upgrades into it. So I'm not sure why it only says four. Oh, that's talking about speed. That's why. Oh, there's a lot of kills coming from this right-hand side. So a lot of kills. 
This is where it starts to struggle. We can't kill these units. I don't know how you're supposed to beat this TD, to be honest. You've only got so much control. Yeah, disease cloud would be nice. Like, if each player in each corner had a disease cloud. Like, if I get my first meat wagon on the left-hand side here to have meat wagon. Disease cloud. You could be definitely doing some good damage. So have I got Disease Cloud? How do I upgrade that? Oh, I see. So once you've reset... Oh, there goes our lives. <laughs> That's going to start going down very quickly. Maybe erase the Disease Cloud. If we had Disease Cloud in each corner, that's doing a lot of damage by the time it gets to each player. I feel like you might be better off just having four players instead of eight. Should have Disease Cloud shortly. Right. Five damage per second, but it lasts 120 seconds. So, do the math and that's like 600 damage or something, isn't it? I don't know. It's a lot of damage though. Theoretically. For all the time that they, they travel. I've actually taken the top of the scoreboard, boys. After that miserable start. They have health regen. Well, I don't know, but health regen, they're still going down thanks to disease cloud. Like, you can see, their health is still ticking down one second at a time. It's like two health per second or something. Which stacks because the whole maze is massive. So what's the mortar team's ability? No, I think it's worth, yeah, if you have each player in a corner have disease cloud. Or just one in the top left and one in the top bottom right. But preferably one in each corner. Have a meat wagon that has disease cloud each. That's a lot of damage over time. It was exactly 600 damage, was it? Did I just get it right? Oh, yeah. What happened there? Someone forgot to reset. <laughs> Where's all these kills come from now? Look at all these kills. Is Disease Cloud killing or something? The scoreboard ain't meant for kills. What's it meant for, then? Hello, it's so simple. I'm from Asian. Did I get a chance to become friends and play custom games with you guys? Because I see Asian and Europe has different Battle.net server. Well, you can always log on. You can play online, you can play from Asia and join European games, but you're going to have a hell of a lot of lag. You just join the custom games as we make them. Disease cloud particles count as units. Every time one of them dies, you get a point for that. I don't know. All I know is I am kicking ass, and these guys are filthy casuals. I'm the real winner here, with 2,400 kills. Yeah, I'm not getting any money, but at least I look good. Burning oil does something similar, does it? Yeah, that sounds good then. I like the sound of that. Burning oil. Yeah. How are we not dead yet, is the real question. Because I'm getting no kills now. The other thing is, is we're screwed anyway, because... If gold is going to Figaria, I can't spend it. So he's got 797 gold. And he's doing nothing with it. It's a Figaria guy.
Yeah, he's got slow poison. It only lasts for five seconds, though. It's not as impressive as the other stuff. I don't know how long burning oil lasts for. I seem to make less gold now that they've left, somehow. I still don't know how we're not dead. I think it's because as soon as they left, any kills that they're getting is going towards me. Like, Figari is still on 660 kills. His hasn't gone up either. But I don't know. I don't feel like I'm killing anything, so why are we not dead yet? What does it take for them to win? Like, where do they have to go? So I'm doing all the hard work for Kidson by applying disease cloud here, so that when they get over there, they're all softened up for him. I think he's getting all the gold. I don't think anyone's getting gold other than kids in now. I think one of the strategies could be, yeah, just to take all of the tower spots. Because the more tower spots you have available, the more those damage upgrades actually m make a difference. I feel like it's bugged, though. Yeah, literally I'm feeding kids in there. It's impossible to get gold. At least on top of the scoreboard, though. Well, the poison cloud doesn't benefit me, the face palmer. So you don't get the poison cloud to get gold for yourself. You do it for the team. Because the units that are getting affected by poison cloud aren't going to die in your vicinity. Otherwise, poison cloud doesn't mean anything. Yeah, you could have poison cloud towers here one ear as well. But they all have to go through the maze anyway. But the earlier the better, I suppose. So theoretically here, 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 and here would work. We should just call this Kidson TD. Eight players and one person gets to play. <laughs> or, well, most of them get kicked out.
So it looked like we were going to, like, die. We had 32 lives left. But they can't seem to get past this. Yeah, even Random's able to pick a few. I got some gold. I don't know. I, that feels like that was given to me. Or maybe I am getting the kills there. Alright, let's try spreading more towers, I suppose. Even though I really should be focused on... Ah, what can you do? Screw it. Let's go, boys. Mass mortar team this up. I know, I don't even... I'm getting confused. When I start getting gold now, it's, it's throwing me off. For every... 2,000 kills I get, I get 50 gold. Hello. Well, I could upgrade one tower. I had 359 gold. So, it costs 200 gold to upgrade, like, one tower. At this point, we may as well just spread the love. Yeah, get carried by the guy who's leaking lives now. The game will end in 1 minute and 27 seconds. so close. Come on, boys. They might get killed by my ones over here. Oh, no. Random Picknoob has taken all of these as well. Random Picknoob, you're stealing all my kills. Those would be mine. Such thiefery. Yay. Yay. Yay! The comeback is real. Wow. 35,000 kills. I know I've done some massive carrying so far. That's it, boys. I did it. I carried us through to victory. I didn't even know there was 37,000 units on the map, but... There you go. 38,000 kills. Not bad. The next player, the next top player after 38,000 kills, 39,000 now, is Kidson with only 2,300. So I've killed almost like, what, 10? 20 times the amount he has? 40,000 kills! Jeez. I've done more kills in the entire team combined and then multiply that by about 6 or 7. This is... Like, I know that I'm good at custom games, but that is ridiculous. There you go. Top score. G... G... Victory is mine! Cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs>